Hey guys, it's uh, Polish Peter here again, one of the Grandmasters Unite, and I wanted to share this little tip for you that I just um, kind of experienced on one of my coaching calls. So I just had a coaching call with one of my students earlier today, and when she came on the line and we had the conversation, she was overwhelmed. So the conversation went like, I got all this going on in my life. Hey Steve, I wonder if this is Steve or Laura is watching. So good job guys. So... She kept bringing up all the different things that are going on in her life, you know, and this happened and this another thing happened in her life. And I don't want to go into too many details for her, but she had a lot of crazy stuff going on in her life, which was overwhelming her. And what ended up happening is when people get overwhelmed in life, what happens a lot is they get stopped. They stop taking action. They stop performing. They stop doing what they're supposed to be doing or they want to be doing, right? Or they start living the life that they want to live. So one of the things that I do with my students is do a couple of things. One is what I call putting in on the train. And what I do is I have them basically talk all of the stuff that's happening in their life, how they're overwhelmed with everything, and you know, just speak it out. Just say it out loud, all the different things. And then once we speak all that out, we actually go and set it on the side. We put it on the train, what I call it. And it's a longer exercise that if you actually want to do it with me, I uh, can, you know, shoot me a text message or in a private message. And if it's a good fit, we can maybe do that for you. But it's an exercise that really helps you get all that overwhelm out of the way. Because the, what happens in your head when you feel overwhelmed, you start thinking about all the different things that's happening on here. I got to do this. I got to do that. And then all this and all this and all that. Right. And you go down this rabbit hole. Now, what needs to happen is similar to what happens when you are about to climb a mountain. You know, think about it this way. How you climb a mountain, how, you didn't, how do you eat an elephant, right? One bite at a time or one step at a time. So what I see a lot of times when people are not taking action, they have all these different fires burning in their life. And they literally run from one fire to another and they start trying to take all of those fires away and put them out. Put them out. But what ends up happening is because you're running from one fire to another, you're not able to take any of those fires out. So in order for making things happen, you actually have to let some of those fires burn and just pick one fire and take one small step and start putting that one fire away. And when you do that, you start to gain momentum. You start to gain more confidence in yourself. You start to focus on the right things, what you need to do. So the, what I would tell you is this, you know, write all that stuff out on the paper, everything that's going on in your life, everything that you have to do, put it on the paper and then just pick one, one small step. For a lot of my students, what we do is we look at the, uh, we look at the morning routine. Like what do you have going on with the morning routine? Thanks guys. What do you have going on in the morning routine that you can do? So what I created with her is five minutes of meditation. I know that, you know, meditation can be effective when you do it longer, but start with five minutes. And when we did that, and then we actually got the reason why you want to do this um, five-minute meditation. Like, what's it going to get you to actually do it? You know, for some of you guys might know my story when I found out about my DEXA scan results and what my body fat was which was a lot more than, and by the way, I am not, you know, if you look at me, I'm not that overweight person by any means, but the results from the DEXA scan that I got on my body fat, my visceral fat was pretty big for me. And in that moment, when I saw that in my mind, I saw, you know, if I keep going at that rate, if I don't start doing cardio in the morning, if I don't start changing some things in my life, what may happen is that I will not be able to walk down the aisle with my daughter. I may not be there at her wedding day. And that played a huge impact on my mind. So I created that with her and I created what is it that she's the reason why she's going to be doing this cardio. Not cardio, that, uh, the five minute uh, thing in the morning, right? So a couple of important things. One is focus on the one thing, one small thing that you want to focus on, right? Don't, you know, as long as you put it on the paper, you know it's there, just focus on the one thing, right? Two, look at the reason why. 
Why is it important for you to do that? What's it going to take for you to actually do that? Because that's what, like morning routine, when the morning comes and you're nice and cozy inside the bed and you don't want to get out, that's the thing that's going to get you out of bed. Same thing happens for all kinds of different things in life. You know, things are showing up in your life and things are happening in your life. And, you know, that why, the reason why is going to get you moving in the right direction because life's going to try to get you out. And the third thing is I just start taking action. One low action steps, one here every day. Every day, one take action will get you closer. So hopefully this was helpful. And like I mentioned earlier, if you want me to do that uh, train exercise with you, which by the way, whoever I do these trains exercise with, they, that overwhelm goes away like instantly like that. So if you want to do that, private message me on Facebook or if you see me somewhere on that particular platform, and we'll see if we can do that with you. It takes me uh, 20 minutes to half an hour and uh, we can go from there. All right, so thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next Facebook Live. Maybe I should start, you know, actually planning those out better instead of just doing it in the spur of a moment. But hey, just figure I do that, okay? Thanks, guys.